Welcome back Guardians. Today I want to talk about the new NPC featured in this week at Bungie. There's been a lot of interest in this character as people have been speculating this to be Prince Aldrin returning to Destiny. The character is named Shaw Han and the description reads, Players will start in the same way that most all of us have. A ghost will be on the hunt for their guardian, they'll stumble upon you and they'll revive you for the first time. What's different now is that you won't immediately find a ship, rather you'll stumble into another guardian in the wild. Shorhan is his name and he's on a mission with his fire team to investigate what the hive are up to in the Cosmodrome. He'll show you the ropes and help you find your way among the gameplay and the systems of Destiny 2. So my immediate reaction is, no way, that will not be Aldrin. But after hearing more people speak about it, I am interested in having a closer look. So let's go through all the evidence that supports Shorhan being Prince Aldrin, and then also present all the reasons to why Shorhan is likely not Prince Aldrin. Before starting this video though, we do have some artwork from Gamma Trap. This was meant to be in the last lore video, however, we couldn't get it out on time. Right now, we are having a lot of trouble with Displayed. Displayed have removed a bunch of our top selling artwork for apparently copyright infringement. I do not even know who has claimed the artwork, they won't tell me. I'm also talking to Bungie Legal. They've actually been pretty pleasant to be honest. I don't think Bungie claimed the art, but honestly I don't know. So what I'm saying is this, if you want something from Displayed, buy it now in case it's removed. I don't like Display as a company right now, but it's all we have for physical copies. And after this experience, I think I'll be looking for an alternative platform. Of course, you can still get your free digital copies as per usual. I will link that below as well. This is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Right, let's start with all the evidence that would support Shorhan being Aldrin Solv. In Destiny 1, Aldrin Solv had the appearance of a hunter, even though he was not a guardian. And of course, Shorhan is a hunter, supporting the young Ahamkara's spine gauntlets, and also wearing a hunter's cape. Shorhan is also shown with his helmet on, which was a semi-unusual thing for NPCs in Destiny 1. But we actually do have a growing character list of NPCs who are a bit shy and refuse to remove their helmet. Shax, Saint 14, FRD. The reason why people have been so interested in Shaw Han being shown with his helmet on is we do know that Guardian Prince Aldrin always wears his helmet because other Guardians hate him for killing Cade 6. Have a listen to the Amnesia S2 lore entry. It reads. For the last three weeks, the Guardian has been camping in a rusted out shipping container far off the main pathways that are always buzzing with sparrows. He stays out of the way of other Guardians, and if he can't do that, he keeps his helmet on. Always. He spends his days alone. Other Guardians are an unpredictable source of pain and confusion, and they see him the same way. Some react to him with outright hostility. Others are overcome by some personal and unexplained grief. He doesn't know why. That was the most painful lesson of being reborn. It's better to be alone. So he's always alone now, except for his ghost. One night, he sits with his head against his knees and listens to the distant snaps of gunfire. He hasn't seen anyone in about a week, but he can hear them. Somehow that makes the loneliness worse, more potent. So people are speculating Guardian Prince Aldrin would likely be a hunter, Shorhan is a hunter, and he's pictured with a helmet. Prince Aldrin won't remove his helmet, so maybe it's him. The other thing that people have been citing as evidence for the Shaw Aldrin theory is that Shorhan is in the Cosmodrome, and Prince Aldrin is also rumoured to be in the Cosmodrome. As you likely noticed, in the last law entry I read, it said, for the last three weeks, the Guardian has been camping in a rusted out shipping container far off the main pathways that are always buzzing with sparrows. The rusted out shipping containers have led people to believe that this is the Cosmodrome, as we see lots of shipping containers in this area. 
In addition, people were already speculating that Prince Olgin was going to be in the Cosmodrome because the symbol featured on his original chest plate appears in the Triumphs page for Beyond Light. The next association with Olgin is the young Ahamkara spine gauntlets that Shorhan is wearing. Firstly, the gauntlets help indicate that Shorhan is a hunter, which we have already discussed, but more importantly, why the Ahamkara spine? People have been linking this to the Dreaming City and the Last Wish Raid, where you face off against the last Ahamkara, Riven. But this is a very loose connection. Basically, the Dreaming City is awoken, Prince Aldrin is awoken, the Raid had an Ahamkara, and Shorhan is wearing Ahamkara bones. I will agree though, it is an interesting choice for Shorhan to be wearing Ahamkara bones, because hey, maybe Prince Aldrin made a wish. A wish to be accepted by Guardians, and so he has become Shorhan. Now, what I think is even more interesting than Shorhan's gauntlets is that Shorhan is wielding the auto rifle Kvostov. Now, this is obviously linked to the new Guardian experience because it is the very first weapon we get in Destiny 1, but there's also a lot of symbolism tied up in the Kvostov. Kvostov represents our resurrection story, it represents our ghost choosing to revive us. Let me remind you of what our ghost says during the Kvostov mission in Rise of Iron. Every ghost is born knowing that we have to find our guardian. We don't know what they look like. Not on the outside, anyway. On the inside, I'd always known who you were, and that together, we could be something more. When you think about everything we've seen, everything we've done, I feel like I made the right choice. I think it would be an amazing design choice to give Aldrin the Kvostov because of what our ghost said during that mission. Our ghost doesn't care what we look like on the outside, but knew we were the right choice. You could argue that Pulled Pork, Prince Aldrin's ghost, has done the same thing. Pulled Pork doesn't care what is on the outside, but rather Pulled Pork knows that Aldrin can be something more. Now the last point I want to make before moving on to all the reasons to why Shorhan is not Prince Aldrin is this. Bungie did say they did not want to expand their character roster and that they had plenty of characters to work with and develop. Now, I cannot actually find this quote anywhere, however I am pretty positive it was said. I remember talking about this, but I don't know when or where it was said. The introduction of new character to help New Light players, I tend to agree, is pretty odd. So I think this could go either way. I think either Shorhan is going to be a very minor character from a story perspective, or he'll be Prince Aldrin. Because I have this memory of Bungie saying that they want to focus on their current character roster and develop them more. Okay, moving on to the reasons to why this is not Prince Aldrin. The first reason is he is missing items that are extremely valuable to him. The two items that he was revived with, a white sheet and a ring. Have a listen to the Lord tab for Amnesia S2. All he has to his name is some beat up gear, a ring and a silk sheet. Those are the things he woke up with. He wears the ring on a chain and keeps the sheet as a comforting reminder of something he can't remember. Sometimes he wears it draped over his shoulder. The fabric is so fine that it makes him think about the place he must have come from before this life and how much nicer it is than where he is now. It sounds like Aldrin uses the white sheet as a cloak and in the picture the cloak is blue. The ring is of course missing as well. Now just because those items are not shown in the picture doesn't mean he doesn't have them, but we would expect that Prince Aldrin would be shown with those items. The second thing I want to talk about is his role to assist new guardians. As it stands, Prince Aldrin does not want to be around other guardians. Have a listen to Amnesia S2, it reads, He spends his days alone. Other guardians are an unpredictable source of pain and confusion, and they see him the same way. Some react to him with outright hostility. Others are overcome by some personal and unexplained grief. He doesn't know why. That was the most painful lesson of being reborn. It's better to be alone. So he's always alone now, except for his ghost. There would have to be some dramatic character development for Prince Aldrin to not only be around other guardians, but actually try to lead other guardians. But I guess maybe he did make an Ahamkara wish. And also, 
I guess you could argue if Olgen was trying to reconcile with Guardians, the best place to start would be with new Guardians, with Guardians who do not know his history. The last point I want to talk about is the same as my last point for the evidence for this being Prince Olgen, which is Bungie didn't want to introduce new characters to Destiny, or that they had a current roster that was quite full and they should be developing them. My gut feeling is that Shaw Han will be a very minor character. The TWAB says he was created to help with a new player experience, and I think the creation of this character is more to do with Bungie streamlining the new player experience rather than advancing the Prince Aldrin storyline. You have to think from a player experience, why would you put a character like Aldrin, who would literally mean nothing to a new player, in a new player experience? There's just something about his generic gear that makes me think that he's not going to have a huge role. On the contrary, you could argue that this is exactly how Aldrin is meant to look. The law does say that all he has to his name is some beat up gear, a ring and a silk sheet. So maybe that's how he's meant to look. Regardless, there you have it, all the reasons for and against Shaw Han being a Prince Aldrin. Personally, I think he'll be a minor character who was created to streamline the new player experience, but what do you think? If you can't think of a comment, you can leave the word Aldrin, basically because I want Aldrin to return in some fashion, regardless. I would really like to see the tower's reaction to his return. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.